Hi, this is Mark. In this video, we're going to take a look at color override and color selector mats. Oftentimes, you'll have environments where your characters are going to be in a night sky or a sunset setting, and you'll have to tone these characters to that environment so they fit properly. But what we sometimes like to do is to pop the eyes back to normal colors so that they are brighter than the rest of the character. In this example, what we're going to do is we're going to darken the character and isolate the eyes. The first thing I want to do is grab a color scale and I'm going to connect that to my character. Next I'm going to open up the layer properties and I'll lower the value from a 1 to a 0.5. Now we have a darkened character. What I could do is go all the way inside this node view and find the eyes and isolate them to use as a mat but what I'd prefer to do this time is I'm going to use this color override. I'll wire the character to the right port and I'll wire the bottom to the integrated matte port of this color scale. Next I'm going to open the layer properties of the color override and we have this training tune with the palette. We know that we want to pull the eyes away so instead of doing the individual color overrides where you can change the color of your character, I'm going to select the next tab which is Render Selected Colors Only. Next, instead of Render All, I'll choose Render Selected Colors and that effectively has changed the way that the color scale is working because right now it's not showing anything. What I want to do is invert this. So I'll just double click this little icon on the color scale to reverse my mat. Now my character is back to being dark. And what I want to do is show colors to not have the color scale affected by. One of these is the eye. So if I drag this in, see how not only the pupil but the teeth and the flower were colored by the same palette and so now these are being unaffected by the color scale. So I'll drag the pupils in. Now you see the pupils are no longer affected by co the color scale. And this area around the eye I believe is light, uh, color number new 12. Now I can close this color override and we can see the difference between having it off and on. We are using the color override to mat out pieces of the character so that it doesn't get affected by the color scale. Another way to do this instead of using a color override is to use the color selector option. I'll just type in color and choose my color selector node. With the exact same way I'm going to plug it into my color scale integrated mat port and in the properties now I can choose what colors are actually being extracted from this character. I simply have to hit the plus sign, go to my training tune which is the character and pick the colors that I want to isolate. So I'll choose the eye, I'll choose the pupils, and I'll choose the new 12. So just like that we've been able to isolate these colors to not be affected by the color scale in the same way that we could do with the color override. 